Hey, my name is Ernesti Vega. I'm a filmmaker, photographer, and music producer here in Tampa Bay, Florida. And my team, Grupo Maluco, won last year's Action Film Challenge. Last year's Action Film Challenge was a great time. Had so much fun. Had a great cast and crew working with me. Uh, had the Team Enso guys from Orlando, Walter Garcia, Travis Gomez, Danny Vega, Ryan Robertson, all those guys. Uh, really helped up the production value of my film with their action, along with the, the scenes that I coordinated, you know, the underwater fight scene, the, the boat chase that we did, the fight scene on the boat chase with Travis falling in the water going like 30 miles an hour. And just like a lot of, so many great highlights from the film. So our film, A Spaniard's Tale, did really well at the awards ceremony. There were like 10 or 11 awards that were available and we won six of them, uh, including best film overall, which is great in the amateur category. We won best uh, action sequence, best visual effects, best editing, best soundtrack. And my lead actor, Walter Garcia, won best actor. So congrats to him. And I really helped to create a lot of exposure for my film that I wrote that we're going to be shooting with the Ombak stunt team in Thailand called Formless, coming up with my good friend Maurice, uh, Maurice Crump. We got some great talent attached to it already. Uh, Anderson Silva, UFC fighter, Dave Batista, the wrestler from WWE. Uh, some great martial artists, Ray Dionaldo, um, Co Mestre Cobra Mansa from Capoeira Martial Arts. Really great stuff going on. I really want to encourage you guys to take advantage of this great opportunity. So many great things happened to me last year after the Action Film Challenge. People were ringing my phone off the hook. Red Bull was calling me. I did some photo gigs for them. Booked a lot of high profile clients afterward. And just some of the awards that I won and just winning the, the challenge itself really added a lot of uh, achievements to my resume. And you can't put a value on that, you know, to be able to call yourself an award winning filmmaker. Uh, GoPro actually uh, reached out to them and they found out that I shot my underwater fight scene with one of their cameras. So they sent me some free swag gear. They got me some t-shirts here. I want to represent GoPro real fast. Check it out. Some of the rules have changed up a little bit. You guys got uh, 17 days to do a 10 minute film, uh, which I think is a little better, uh, give you a better opportunity to shoot out some better quality. It could be any genre that stays the same as last year. It's gotta have at least one action sequence and it could be anything. It could be a fight scene, gunfight, chase, you know, the sky's the limit. Use your imagination. If you're a big CGI post effects guy, you know, put some UFOs in there. Do something really cool. Battlefield LA style. Just have fun with it. We had so much fun and, uh, and just had a great time. Some of the key aspects that we changed up from last year are the incentives and the prizes. We're still gonna have the cash prize, which is great. I don't see anybody else really offering cash prizes uh, on this kind of level. So that's a great incentive for filmmakers to get out there and win some cash, put some cash in their pocket. We're also trying to sign on new sponsors every day. So we're gonna hopefully have some free gear for you guys to win as well. We're working on that right now. What's also great is that this year, the more teams that sign up, the more money you win. It starts at 500 bucks just like it did last year and goes up based on the number of teams that we have signed up. So call your friends up. They have a camera, tell them to start shooting some stuff, get out there and practice and sign up for this year's competition. It's going to be great.